I am going to say something that I think will be wildly unpopular in the Cardano community. Something that people are just not saying the obvious about the Cardano summit that happened this last weekend. It was lame. It was boring. It was full of technical jargon. I wouldn't, I tried watching it. I got bored. I wanted to wait for the recaps. To, and, then, and then I go on YouTube and I see all these other YouTubers super excited about Cardano and not really breaking it down, not really focusing on usability. Only a few of them, but most of them are just like, like I, they're just pumping. The, I think they're just pumping it. Uh, I, and I'm a Cardano holder, but he, here's what I mean, okay? And if you agree with me, if this makes sense, give me a like. If not, don't worry about it. Just give me a like down, <laughs> you know what I mean? But these are just my thoughts here. This is Charles Hoskinson in the opening keynote, and he he looks like he's locked in a dungeon with a crab. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, someone announcing the chain link announcement. He, like, where where is he? He looks like he's stuck in an apart no in, in in the in his mom's bedroom. This this guy, I mean, you can even hear him, and he's like here showing sharing his sharing his uh his, his keynote presentation. You know about. Uh, a Tala Prism, which is one of the, you know, revolutionized. I just want you to compare this guy and this guy, right, to Apple. Look how clean an Apple presentation looks, right? This is, they're showing a video here. But check, check this out. Check this out. Look at that. That is a huge screen in a big, like, airplane hangar, okay? Look at this guy. This guy's on the cliffs of California or something. I, I don't I don't know if that's a green screen. I don't know if the, you know what I'm saying? Like they're show, featuring their projects. They're they're featuring their their stuff. I mean like it's 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 all about user usability and user experience. I mean check just check out this, right? Check this guy out, Tim Cook, and then check out Charles Hoskins. <laughs> he looks like he's in his mom's basement playing Dungeons and Dragons. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. And so I am excited about Cardano's future. I really am. And I, in this video, I'm going to go over what I'm excited about. But I also want to help uh, add to the Cardano community, especially these guys running the summits. Hey, watch watch an Apple presentation, okay? You'll see that it's polished and it's clean and it gets people excited. Like these guys are literally, Charles Hoskinson and the Cardano team and the Cardano ecosystem is literally revolutionizing the world. And we're going to get into that. But they are not presenting like themselves like they're, these guys are revolutionizing the world, but they're presenting themselves like they're re revolutionizing the world. They're upgrading the whole, like humanity is being upgraded because of Apple. Humanity is being upgraded because of Cardano, I believe. But it doesn't look like, <laughs> it doesn't look like it. he's carrying a lobster. He's carrying a lobster. Like, you know, I, I don't understand. So in this video, if that if that makes sense to you, let me know. But in this video, I'm gonna go over the, the major partners, uh, partnerships, and I'm gonna probably give my case onto how how it makes sense to, a, you know, a little lizard brain cowboy like myself. If you're new to crypto, my name is Aaron. I'm on a journey to two Bitcoin. I've helped, I'm trying to help as many people to their first. I'm not a financial advisor, but I do hold a lot of Cardano and I am excited about Cardano. I'm just not excited. They need to hire the guys who put on the Apple presentation or something, okay? So let's get right into it. Uh, the first bit of um, big news is their partnerships with Chainlink, okay? Chainlink. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, I don't want to bring this guy up, right? There was that other guy. He looks, he looks much better. But um, the the partnerships with Chainlink. If you don't know what Chainlink is, Chainlink is a uh, is an oracle, and what an oracle is is it brings real world data into and and digitizes it on the blockchain. I'll give you an example. In marketing, we talk about if this, then that statements, conditional statements. If this happens, then something else happens. So example, uh, what if Tyson Fury knocks out Deontay Wilder, then on the blockchain, someone gets paid. That's how a smart contract would happen uh, with an Oracle with Chainlink. Now, the problem with is that, uh, you know, Chainlink is the you know, number one provider or, or Oracle in crypto. It doesn't make sense that Cardano would have to try to come up with their own one. Um, and it, I'm glad they're not. They're just using the best one on the space. So Chainlink, in my opinion, is one of the things to go to in the future. I hold Chainlink. I don't think I'm going to sell anytime soon. I just see that going up because of the usability and the use case. But uh, that's what Chainlink does. If 
uh, it rains six inches in this country, then you get paid this much insurance. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of stuff. If, uh, I don't know, if Biden, uh, you know, prints a trillion dollars into the into the system, then, you know, you get, you know, your, your security back. I don't know. You get you get this house. That's what I'm talking about. Smart contracts. The ch part, the partnership with Chainlink allows developers to de to come up with smart contracts that will, you know, save users money. That will bring uh, the insurance the ins you know the insurance onto the Cardano blockchain. Insurance companies onto Cardano blockchain. These are things that to get excited about. Hey, have, are you are you tired of paying premiums of insurance and getting low coverage? Well, Cardano allows this to happen with Chainlink. It allows, and then you get into this, you, you know, you show a car crashing and then you're like paying high bills and then you see things could be better with Cardano. You know what I'm saying? Like this is what Cardano had to present itself as, not not, not, not this, you know what I'm saying? Not this, not this. You, 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 had, to, you had to get me some something, you know what I'm saying? Show me some pictures. Give me a little polish here because you guys cardano is literally i think going to revolutionize the world and this is not showing it <laughs> so uh so that's the first partnership is the one with chain link the second one is with dish and boost and a lot of people are talking about this but how they presented it right here is that you know oh sorry that's atalata atalata we'll, we'll get to that so um, the, the way they partnered with Dish and Boost, actually this one was nice because they were around like a round table and stuff. I think I exited the, the uh, video. And that one was a little polished, but the thing is with that is uh, with, with Dish and Boost, I, I wanna see security. The reason why the Cardano is pairing up with Dish and Boost is they're gonna create these user profiles for Dish and just, and you should, you know, as Cardano, we should be saying, hey, dish network anyone who joins that will have the peace of mind for anyone that their that their information is stored and secured and they, they, they could say like hey all these other networks are getting hacked and scammed and all your information is going to you know out there to scammers but dish ha you know proudly partnered with cardano boasts the most robust and secure system for our providers okay so something like that that excites me i'm like yeah dish right and so and then they have a loyalty points marketplace and i think what they could do here is saying hey anyone who's on the boost uh you know network now you will have access to digital assets and nfts with loyalty points for just being a boost customer something like that that's that's exciting you know what i'm saying and you could buy this phone and you could buy this app and you could that that's how i think cardano needs to present itself especially when they're getting to the marketplace game the third one is atalata right atalata prism and this is how they presented it this is how they're presenting atalata basically what what that is is a, the ability to provide to have all of your information stored securely on blockchain blockchain is the most secure network by far and away it's more secure than having you know one password on your phone it's more secure than having you know a piece of paper that has your birth certificate and your social security card you know how many times i lost my social security card okay i lost it in my own house i don't know where it is your piece of paper of a passport no now you could securely uh, you know, forever immutable, un, you know, can't be stolen, can't be destroyed by your baby slobbering all over it. It secured store, uh, you know, securely on the blockchain. And it's about time that humanity upgrades to the 31st, to the 41st century by blockchain, by Adelata Prism. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like we have an app and user face and all this kind of, that's how I think Cardano should have said that. You know, with, with with a little more zhuzh, a little more zhuzh on that. You know, but but I think uh, I think there's a big communication problem with with Cardano. Not problem, just uh, uh, no, novices at communication. Because when you compare it to something like an Apple presentation, it's wildly different. So all that being said, I am excited about it. Like you know, I'm actually excited that saying, hey, you know what, uh, my information is now secured and owned by me by Adelata Prism. And if you don't know what that is, basically you can own the rights to your uh, to your social security, birth certificate, passport. Um, it, this could be used in voter registrations. Like never again will you think that the uh, that the will there be a debate on if an election was was rigged or not rigged. 
because it's on it, it's on blockchain. You know, you can't do you can't counterfeit it, or you can't. So that is like I I, I want to see the end user. I want to see how this affects the end user and how this you know pushes humanity forward because it is. I believe it is. And Cardano, I believe in you. I I back it up with my own money. I believe in you. And so. Um, yeah, I'm just excited. I hope you're excited. And if this all made sense to you, give you give me a like. If you don't know me, I'm Aaron. If I introduce myself anyway, guys, don't overthink it. Just communicate clearly and 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 you know be excited about what you, what we're doing here because blockchain is the future anyway. Lizard brain, gorilla arms, diamond hands. We're going to the moon together. I'll see you guys later.